Okay, everybody, today is the 1st of March. 1st of March. Okay, it's 1st of March. And I'm looking at the pound ores. So I thought I will record this down for the YouTube traders. I'm going to figure out where pound ores is going to go. Um, so, yeah, I'm in the middle of a Without you know, figuring out what to do, maybe somebody knows where Palm is going to go. Let me just check on a few things. Um, okay, Palm just made a higher high over here. So this is not so much a tutorial video, more a video of me trying to figure out what is going on. So I'm trying to figure out as well. Palm O's. I think we need to trade to the upside. It looks upside to me. This this was kind of slow. This came down, it went up, came down one more time. Yeah, I see this. It's like a double bottom over here. Oh my gosh, what is this? Man? Okay, so there's still opportunity. I think our loss, we need to look for the buy. There is no, okay, the currency strength is kind of weak. But uh, we need to look for the buy. Yeah. So you pull back one, two, three, like this, and get one more up. Okay. The main thing that we don't want to see is we don't want to see price come below. You don't want to see price close below this space, but you know. it's okay for price to come and weak here and then go back up. That's okay. But price close below that area is not such a good thing. That's one. Um, I think pawn loss is going up. Okay, I think this pawn loss is going up. So we need to buy from the area of value, right? The area of value, of course, would be. See, this one broke this one. So area of value would be somewhere here. Yeah. See. Just three objects and you'll know which way to go. Yeah. Something like this. Uh, somewhere around here, I would say. Somewhere around here. This, this area over here. Yeah. Yeah, about there, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7. So it's best if this one could pull back somehow. If this one just continues to shoot up straight, then of course uh, it's not within this channel anymore. It's going up much higher, so we have to rethink. But uh, this one, okay, this is one one way it could move. The other one is you could just consolidate here and go up again. And then this is where you start to look for the pullback, like this, the bigger one. So this one, ends up here like this but it's still a pullback you know so you don't try you don't try to trade this kind of stuff because you see when price moves like this and you try to enter here bomb right when stuff moves like this and you try to enter here for the buy bomb so when stuff is here you try to enter for the buy you can bomb and go back down right so yeah turn us it's, it's what you're looking for looking for the buy Confirming a few things. Yeah, pound was looking for the buy. This, this will be somewhere. How much? When, 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 when would this be? Uh, 10 plus day to day. Oh boy. Third March. So, which means you might spend this whole week. Well, we don't know. I don't we don't know when it's going to pull back, but when it pulls back, definitely. You want this to be a nice low call, right? a nice time time factored swing, nice nice corrective pullback. That means maybe not here, twelfth March. It may not be so long. Maybe next week. There must be one pullback for the next push up, or even if it goes up higher, one pullback for the next push up. So around the third week, second third week of March, we can look for. Uh, you could be looking for this this, this move to the upside. Basically. Of course, we we'll just think of the other scenario is that what if this one just collapses straight down? Well, that's okay. We can always look for the buy somewhere at the bottom. 
You can always see it for the by the bottom. You can always draw something like like this or something like you know. You can always if this one just collapses straight down like this, it then looks really slow and just dies off. You can always buy the bottom, again, right? So, um, look for some kind of uh, resistance over on this side. Okay. So, the reason why this stuff works, when well, you've seen some of the, some of my other uh, forecasts, right? Some of these most will grow your crown by ten to thirty percent, depending on what the lot size need conviction. You know, so waiting for these breaks and buying it low here, or waiting for subs here to buy it up here, they, they all can work. They all can work, right? They all can work. Uh, so this is one kind of setup. The other setup is something like this. Uh, it's a two, two, one, a two. So 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 okay. So this is this is another setup. Very interesting. I'm trying to figure out what to do. If you come like this, go up. If you come here like this, this this one can go. This one can go as well. This is also up to one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one, two, three. So this, of course, on hindsight, uh, it will be like a here, a here, and here. So in order to trade this move up, of course, you need to know how to take those kind of little, little stuff. Like you see all this boom, boom, and then it breaks. Then you see this consolidation, and then it breaks. So you see this consolidations here, here, you see all this little, little stuff right here. You can try to take those breaks. You see like here, all this. Just showing you how to take this kind. All these little flags that break, flags that break. That's a break. So you think you see a flag that break, a flag that break, a flag that break. That's, that's one way as well. So there's so many different ways that it could come. Like a, you know, like let's say you're on, on, you're on a batting pitch, right? Or you play cricket or you play baseball. The guy who throws the ball, the ball is flying at really high speed. They hit you in the, in the head, you might, you might get a concussion and faint on the spot. So the ball can come like a fastball, a, I don't know, curveball, whatever ball it comes with a day trader, you've got to take, you got to take it how it comes. You know? So I'm just trying to see how it comes. It comes slow, you can buy. It shoots up hard, it comes down like this up here, you can still buy. If it just shoots down and just cross right to the bottom here, you can buy. So there are a lot of buys possible, just have to see. One straight move up like this now, there's nothing you can do until until uh until it shows it's uh until any more stuff happens. One straight line can't do anything. Okay. So this is very interesting. I like this at upside. But we'll know what we'll know what to do very soon. Okay. Yeah. The easiest one of course would be this one. It goes down like this, very easy. Easy trading. That that would be an easy trade. Yes. So that be easy. If he does that, all you need is one line, another line, and then just one. Oh, he's gonna make one more, one more up. So, but we don't always get that. We don't always. Oh, we do get that, of course. One example I can show it's it's over here. Um. So. Uh yeah. See see this line here. Just one line, one box, or one arrow. You can predict where it's going to go. So, so this this is this is this is one one style, right? Uh, it's the it's the easy it's the easy trade, so basically. Like you see this line here, this line, and this. If we get this on pound on pound offs, this is the easy stuff. You know, the the the, the easy stuff. If it pulls back slowly, if it pulls back slowly, pulls back slowly. You know, any it's a they are basically good buys, you see. So, um, something to look out for. So, you get the easy one, that's the best. But if it does not look easy, then uh, you need to be able to hit the curveballs as well. If it comes like ah, oh, then ah, oh, does that mean down? No, you can also <laughs> go up again like this, thumb, 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 sharp pullback. Take everybody out and go again. So be very aware. Okay. Be very aware. So we just have to see what happens. Um next. Mm, let's go look at uh, some other stuff. One trade is a little bit perplexed. How old? 
Let me look me set uh, We look at a difficult trade right now, something difficult. This is a little bit difficult. I was wondering what this was doing. This is A. Let me see. Mm. Very strong move down. Strong move down. The thing about this strong move down is sometimes the Makes us feel like a uh, you know, strong move it means that you must do this and then another strong move, right? Or you know, something like this. Or even strong move up like this, one, two, three. But even if it goes up like this, you might think that you know, there must be one more move down. Yeah, that's, that's possible. It's possible. But uh, it may, may not always be. It may not always be. So a lot of these moves, even if they go sideways like this, right? And you think there's one more move down, you need some confirmation. Because if we just sell here, we might end up getting caught. There are many ways to actually trade these type of moves down. And um, one way, of course, if it does something like this, really high, then actually, if it's very, if it's aggressive sell, uh, this is what they use as uh, you can recognize what that is, right? So people who trade this harmonic style, that's one way to, to try to sell it down. As well, but what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to figure out at this point what I, what I'm supposed to do. Let's see. Uh, all I see is one move down. That don't really mean much. Check at the corner, very low, low time frame or too lower, more like a fifteen. So what I do see is uh, I see uh, something here like ABC move. You see. To figure out this is A B C. Oh, okay, okay. I think we got it. I think this one might have one move down like this. So I think this is doing something like this. I think this is gonna go up. Uh, it could go up, it could come down, and then it goes up somewhere here. Now, here, when it reaches this point, it could come straight down, or you can just continue to crawl and break the top. At this point here, to me. This is difficult trading. At this point, it can go really anywhere. Because, because it could make it one, two, three down. That is possible. That is possible. This trade, when it's coming down, you, you, you have to take your flex as it comes down. That, that is one trade. Um, so at, at this point in time here, the trade to me is actually a buy to the upside. But once it reaches anywhere like here, Let's put some people not cheese on it. From here, like like this six one is fifty, this seven oh seven over here. These are these places are not places to take buys anymore unless you have some kind of little flag to confirm the move. You see here all these little flags that confirm the moves. Unless you have something like this one two three over here, then that's that. Those are buys. Those are things that confirm the buys. Otherwise, the general feel when it, from a wave perspective when from here, it's a buy, right? From here, it's a sell. And uh, and to overcome the, the sells over here or that that the top in the head that you should sell, because why? Because I believe, because if you believe in, people actually might believe in that. And not to overcome this belief, you need to have stuff like that. These stuff, these little flags here, like here, you see all this stuff over here? You see this stuff over here? All this stuff will overcome that feeling of impulse correction impulse. So in other words, this one can can look like a correction, then it can just keep continuing to the outside because it looks like it has it has these over here. It has these over here. You see. That confirm the outside. So it means this will never happen. All right. So that's why you actually read the price chart. Then and, and, and um Knowing where the areas of value are at this point in time, this place is the area of value for upside. At this point in time, at, the, at, the, at this high, downside is it is where the, the 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 bears will start piling in. You see, and to confirm that it can continue to go, you need little bits of confirmation that say, hey, you know what, you can still make one more push. Hey, you know what, you can still make one more push. Yeah, something like this. So. At, a, at this point in time, what I'm really keen is this move over here. 
Chicken one, two. I think this one has potential for the up. This has potential for the up. Uh, so, let me see. 30. Yeah. This move here looks like we could go up some actually. You see, it came down and then you start to see uh, price action candles. You see. This price, like, see this rate here and then price action, the candle made one more up. So if this one takes this up, I'm, I'm thinking of looking for a reason to buy, to go up. And once I'm somewhere here, I'm looking for a reason to get up because it could fall or you could just do a correction like that. Then you have a trend on this way. So that's possible. So yeah, can we see this is what I'm this is this is my thought process. Thinking of the bias actually. But this is a kind of a sketchy trade, I would say. A little bit sketchy. Uh, five minute to actually wait for this one to go a little bit higher actually. You have one, two, three, four, five. So you can let this one go a little bit higher first, let it pull back. See like pull back, go up higher. Let it pull back, then then you can buy it again. Okay. That's possible. Okay. Nice. These are all the strengths. They're all the strengths came in. Yeah. All right. So these are the palm loss. So this one is Palm Oz and uh, Kiwi Swiss. Kiwi Swiss is a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. Hmm. But I think this has potential. Uh, this has I was also looking at Tesla. Looking at Tesla stock. And uh, some pretty big funds were buying Tesla at around at around on the 18th of February, right? They're looking to buy, they bought some Tesla over here at this price. It's a $50 billion fund. Right? So they were looking to buy more Tesla around around this period, 19, uh, maybe around 17. So they're kind of buying it at the top actually. Uh, well, the same fund actually bought Tesla when it was here, when it was going down. So the short sellers were, pu were pushing Tesla to the downside, to around 33. But the company, uh, you might have heard of it, uh, Cathy, or, no, not Cathy, Cathy. They actually survived this move down in a $50 billion fund. Uh, made huge, huge returns when Tesla went from, you know, 30 all the way up to about how much? 600. So enormous, enormous gains, insane gains, billions of dollars. So right now, at the time she bought it again over here, and it actually made a pullback. And um, so the fundamentals of Tesla, of course, everybody is familiar with Elon Musk. Uh, but I would say if you just watch this a little bit, actually, I'm trying to see why they bought there. I guess maybe a pullback to the moving average. That's why they bought. Maybe. But uh, price came further down. So, well, if it was up to me, I would not have bought it here. Yeah, at least, uh, why is it so, right? It's very easy. You need to wait for these pullbacks to happen first. At least the rate must must happen, see? But this was, this was really sharp, though. A really sharp, sharp push, uh, push to the lows. But since there are big funds and they can wait five years to mature, um, the projection is all the way up to Tesla up to over four four thousand. Okay, it's possible in five years time. Uh, but right now, as a day trader, not an investor. Investor just put money and walk away. As a day trader, you you we need we need precision entries. So we can't just enter here hoping and wait for five years, right? We need the money now. We need the money now. So I would say Tesla area of value, if it can pull back even lower, 
even though we need something even though uh, this looks nice however what you want to see is something more like you need more candles here that's that, that hover around here like this one see how it hovers around here and please don't think impulse correction impulse because it goes sideways oh that's my next impulse down no 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 okay impulse correction impulse works sometimes but there are times when you just have to forget about it and trade the opposite side of impulse correction on impulse right okay okay i think i better explain last people thinking oh impulse correction impulse i'm going to make my million dollars no 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 this one can always come down like sideways but this will never happen and instead this just crawls like this to the upside right you can crawl really really far there is no impulse correction and impulse this also will never happen i know a lot of people who have paid a lot of money to learn this stuff but unfortunately it's not so easy to do it's not enough right because why these are sharp corrections and you know what this is this is going to be your leading diagonal so it looks like this boom sharp correction and this one maybe just goes like this it takes a long time to crawl but you crawl really 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 far and before you know it it could come here like this bum 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 and then it can also and this is when you see me draw a line here like this three lines three objects that make a lot of money just like that bum, bum. yeah okay so it's easy just like this three line three objects one object two object three objects and of course, you just have to forecast it. It's easy. Two seven no. Wow, it's almost like instinct. Instinct. <laughs> See the line here. Two seven no. So this this is how price actually moves. So if you're thinking of impulse correction, impulse, impulse correction, impulse for your whatever flat you're thinking of, you gotta understand that price can always move like a diagonal sideways and then shoot up this way as well. Right? It's not enough. It's just no 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 patterns not enough okay so anyway um once price has come to you see this moment is all quite 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 important so actually tesla looking at tesla right now god maybe you should buy some tesla yeah i actually like it you know uh so arc investments i was watching her on youtube uh, it's a smart lady <sighs> Smart lady catty. Huh? Yeah, what do you want uh, is something like this. Some, just something else and one more drop. I think that would have to be perfect. Okay. Oh, if we don't get that, something that shows strength. You see here? Something that shows strength. You see, this is what you want to see. Okay, let me show you this. This is what you want to see. You see this red here taken out by the green? That is what you want. If you see this, please tell me so I can buy it with you. We will go in big, 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 a lot of money, okay? So, like, you see Tesla, you see here? You see this, this, no, no, no. You see this red that's taken out by the green? This one, this red, this red, not, not the best. It was touched. But this red was okay. Anyway, this was a good place. For rate to be taken up by you. this was probably the best the, the best one it's a big search here if you bought this up you know where your stop should be yeah, of course see so if you see something where you see a nice 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 candle let's say this one suddenly reverses up like that it's actually a uh it's actually a, a worthwhile buy and you gotta keep it because Companies like our investments, you know, big hedge funds, they keep you for four, for five years. <laughs> so if you believe that that uh, Elon Musk, well, when he reaches four thousand dollars, Elon Musk, five years time, I guess he should be on Mars by then. <laughs> okay, don't laugh. Possible. This looks like a nice pullback actually. If you look at it, nice pullback. Looks like a, see pullback, pullback. See pullback. All right, nice pullback, nice pullback. But we need to wait for some kind of confirmation. So now we will look at the the time factor would be unfortunately this time factor that could be all the correction. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that could be all the time factor. 
So what you need to see right now, again, I just emphasize this, you need to see something like this, see this red taken out by the green. So you saw this red over here, close to the moving average taken out by the green. So what you want to see is something like, maybe some kind of red here. Small one would be nice. This is a weekly chart, right? Then you see another green one here. And then you enter like this, then you enter. Like this one, you see, I give you a very nice example. You see this, let me know, man. You're gonna make money, okay? Please let me know. So that's how to get in on Tesla. So when Katie bought in here, it's a little bit high, but then they know people like Elon Musk, right? So they have full confidence to just buy it anywhere. Maybe they felt it was a breakout, breakout, you know, breakout baby. So maybe they felt like over here, they could just buy, you know, uh, but for, for for traders like us who are not so we don't have 50 billion dollars i think we, we let's wait for better entries right okay uh, <laughs> so this is actually a nice place a nice nice drop nice drop also let's also look at some of this uh movements for the future we got a, a 10k could be could become a hurricane just a expo one exponential move like that crazy insane insane moves man my god you know, 10 times. You, you invest 10,000 here, you buy Dogecoin. Oh, this is where impulse correction impulse look really, really nice though. It's nice, right? See that? Nice. So this is where three simple objects will make you a lot of money. The three simple objects are those that we all know. You draw one line, you draw one box. If the candle start to dance outside this line, you draw one arrow. <laughs> of course, this one went really, really far. So, <laughs> okay. So, um, as you can see here, I already made a prediction right here. Dodge to the moon. I mean, you kind of know what you're looking for. You're looking to draw one line. It's kind of stupid, right? After all, like, oh, Shema, your trading style is so stupid. It has to be that way. It's too complicated. How 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 are we gonna make? How are we gonna make money? There you go. <laughs> So if price action just does not do it, just crawls, just crawls, just crawl. Just leave it alone. Just do it. Just leave it alone. Maybe this box is no good. Just leave it alone, right? Just take it all away. What you do? Yeah, you just draw a trend line. Then you just draw a box. <laughs> a box. Yeah, I don't know. Wait for it. So if you believe that this is going to be impulse correction, impulse, well, at least wait for it to break out. If it breaks out, you're okay. Don't break out. Why well, if Dodge coin just falls like that? Well, at least you're not in a trade because you're gonna break out. Right? So let's just wait. Let's just wait. Let's hope that this Dodge coin goes up and then then K will become another hurricane. All right? Let it fly. <laughs> okay. So um let me see, let me see what else. Some of these genome stocks, right? It's supposed to be, I mean, this guy's supposed to cure cancer with, with gene research and AI. So I don't know, maybe cancer, the cure for cancer could be found in our time using AI, who knows, man. Okay, well, let's leave that for another time then. Let me see if I have time for something else. Palm loss, all trends. Okay, okay, my alarm went off. And I left that behind. I want to go and look at it again. Oh no, there you go. So I'm going to it out for this one. So again, uh, look out for this one. Look out for this one, right? Uh, you're looking at okay, what you're looking for. A line, a trend line, a box. Simple, okay. Don't miss this one. Right? In terms of the strength, where could it possibly go? Let's see. There are ways to take profit with this. Maybe here you could take some profit, it's possible. Oh, this is perfect. See this one? That's what I mean. A line, a box, a simple arrow. Nice time factor. It's a time factored swing right there. See? Strong push, a time factored swing. Then you see price just dancing above the trend line, you just try to take the buy. 
Of course, the stop loss will have to be below. You have to be. You have to measure how much how much you want to earn versus how much you you're willing to lose over here. So this is your risk reward basically. Right? Once it breaks out. Okay. So this is what you're basically looking for. Uh, nice slow crawl back to the trend line. Uh, so you see that all this. So you're waiting, you're trying to buy, always buy from places of value. See that? Places of value. You don't buy at the top, you wait for it to come back to a place of value. Place of values, right? Place of value, place of value, right? You do that, uh, then you'll keep your losses small and your gains will be large. Try that. Right? So the Kiwi Swiss is also moving. Right? So, so this is also a nice one. This is the one that we were very interested in uh, just now while we're talking. Time flies, right? It's fun. See? This is what you want. This is exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. So now you go down to five minutes. Really, really nice stuff. Bam. That, this is what you want. So. Can this, can this come straight down? Yeah, maybe, maybe. But the thing is, if it does not come down, it starts to make this little consolidations here. That means this down is not going to happen. Because this little stuff here is saying it's up and it's not down. And some people uh, learn about the Wyckoff method, right? The Wyckoff method is basically how price looks like this, like this, like this, shoots up sideways. One, two, three. This is a lot very similar to time factor trading. Um, the, these are like, when I came across this, I actually call it like a time factor swing. Really slow crawl here, it ends here, a strong push sideways, up sideways, and then it goes. So this is what they call Wyckoff. I learned that someone, they people call this Wyckoff, but that was not, that, that was after I actually figured out this was actually a very good pattern, actually. It's a good pattern. Um, so this pattern, as you can see, Looks exactly like that. So what people are thinking of is something like this, right? They're thinking of the white cough, and then this here, and then down. Maybe kind of break this low. But what I'm trying to do now is try to show you why it can fail and when it can fail, right? And this will fail. This whole this whole idea of the 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 the, the white cough method will fail simply when this one should straight up. So. Uh, um, well, not, not that's a bad idea. It's not that's a bad idea, but it, it, it requires a lot of confirmation. This one needs to go sideways. This move should go sideways like this, right? And then you need some kind of flag here. You know, this flag to confirm that it can go down. Because if the flag confirm that it goes up, then this, this idea will, of course, have to be scrapped. Uh, the good news is that we don't lose money, but the bad news is you lost time waiting for this whole, whole thing to set up. So, um, uh, I think this idea is good. This idea of uh, the Wyckoff method is good if your fund is very huge. If you have, if you have a six-figure fund, you can afford to wait for this large, this, this setup, you see. So if this setup is all that we know, then that's fine. You can trade this stuff. Uh, but uh, if your fund is not that big, then just waiting for this to set up and then not being able to take any trade, right? Means that it's, you're not making money it means that we're not, make, not able to earn a living uh, trading, you see. Because if we're going to trade, right, um, we need to be able to, as I always say, we need to hit more balls. If all we can hit is a straight ball, then when the curve ball come, when the fast ball come, when the slow ball comes, we just have to give up all those trades, right? So, uh, but again, if this method is all that, that the person knows, that's fine. But the things that you got to be there, your computer, when that happens, break, then go. So you got to be there in computer when this happens. So around what's the time? So around for, around it around midnight. You could come at midnight to see whether this this is set up. If this is that if this doesn't set up and this goes straight through, oh well, there was there was no downside. Can you see? So at least this is actually. Uh, this was actually, this was actually one move up, correction, this is a move up, came here, take out the, the orders, correction, and then you go. 
this is actually what it was. This was a real play. And it moves up. So this is actually a bit tricky. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to understand what's going on in the market. You know. what, what's gold doing? You not look at gold for such a... Have I been looking at gold? Okay. Gold is making a crawl. Let me see. So just make sure to connect these lows, okay? Because when it connect, when it comes to these lows, often what can happen? It can, it can bounce. It can bounce back. And these are all good places, you see. So all very good places over here. Yeah, so you can expect some kind of bounce. So go out, say you just wait, so you crawl, you do whatever you want, that's whatever you want. Uh, go look at. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Uh, very nice move. So see, see, comes here, goes up. Nice move. Um. Let me just uh, okay. Um, anything else is interesting? Bitcoin. Bitcoin finally made a nice little pullback. Okay. Let's just look at Bitcoin. See what it's doing. It's currently trending. You see, so the, the moving averages are going to help. Oh, it looks upside again. It looks upside again. You see, you see how this one is starting to break above that. It's starting to look up. Hold on, this is the daily, right? Yeah, it is. We go two days, three days. Yeah, I don't need two days. Sharp move. Huh? Hmm, okay. So let's go look at one hour. Let's go look at one hour. So let's try to put this. I'm going to be observing a little bit more. Um, so because it's a daily move, I'm going to look at something like a one hour. So, so basically, what we want is uh, some kind of pullback like this. See these pullbacks over here, see these pullbacks over here? These pullbacks. We need some kind of those pullbacks. What I just drew here, one hour. You might get those pullbacks to go up. So what's, what's important is if price just shoots up like this straight, you see this one over here? Can you just buy because it, it looks strong? Remember, what if it just shoots up like that? Do you just buy that? Remember, you cannot do that, right? You don't just do that. You have to wait for this quits to happen. You confirm the next move. So let's say, let's do that example. Let's say price, boom! You just buy that. Okay? It will not work. So yeah, Bitcoin. So look, look out for this kind of patterns if you are a Bitcoin trader. Right, it's time for my dinner. I uh, hope this impromptu session helps somebody. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's hope that our Kiwi Swiss and our Pound trades work out. Yeah. <laughs>